Use implicit differentiation to find y prime if the square root of 2 minus xy squared equals 1 plus 3x squared y. So to use implicit differentiation, we are going to just take the derivative of this expression without solving for y first. In fact, solving for y here might be kind of a pain, so it's probably optimal to use uh, implicit differentiation. So to do that, let's first rewrite this. Uh, I'm going to rewrite the square root as 2 minus xy squared to the 1 half power, just to make it a little bit easier to see what's going on here. And that's going to equal 1 plus 3x squared y. Okay, so first, this thing right here. If we're going to take the derivative of a square root, this is chain rule. So first we're going to take the derivative of the square root itself and leave the inside the same. The outside function here is the square root. So we take the derivative of the outside first. So that's going to look like that. Now we're going to multiply it times the derivative of the inside. The derivative of a 2, well that's a constant, that's just going to be 0. So we have this minus xy squared. So we want to take the derivative of minus xy squared. What's that going to be? Well, this is product rule because this y is a function of x. So we can think of this as the derivative of minus x times y squared plus minus x times y squared prime. That's product rule. So let's go through and do this. Remember, we're multiplying because this was a chain rule here. So now we're multiplying the derivative of the inside. So first we have the derivative of negative x, that's going to be negative 1. So that's going to be a negative 1 times y squared, so I'll just write this as negative y squared. Then over here we're going to have negative x times the derivative of y squared. So this is going to be negative x times and now we're going to have the derivative of y squared. What is the derivative of y squared? Well, the derivative of y squared is 2y. But then remember, y itself is a function of x. So by chain rule, we have to take the derivative of y. You have to tack on a y prime. OK, so that's the, the tricky part of implicit differentiation, remembering that y itself is a function of x. So when you do a derivative of y squared, it's 2y and then the derivative of the inside, y prime. All right, uh, now we're ready to go ahead and do this side, the derivative of the 1, that's going to be 0. This is another product rule here. So there's going to be a 3 hanging around the outside. And now we'll do the derivative of the first thing. That'll be a 2x, leave the y alone, plus. And now we'll leave the x squared alone and take the derivative of the y. That'll be a y prime. And at this point, you might just want to leave this alone and say this is your answer, but we'll go ahead and solve for y prime. It's kind of a mess, but we'll go ahead and do it anyways. So um, first thing I'll do is I'll distribute this through because the, there's a y prime hidden in here. And this is going to be a square root. So this is going to look like we're going to have a minus y squared times this thing. So a minus, and there'll be a 2 times the square root of 2 minus xy squared in the denominator, and then a y squared up top. And then if I multiply this through by this thing, let's see, there's a 2 here. That's going to cancel with that half. It is going to be negative, so I can put a minus sign. And so upstairs, it's going to be x, y, y prime. And then downstairs, remember that half got canceled with that 2, so it's just going to be the square root of 2 minus xy squared. And that's going to equal, and I'll multiply the 3 through, so it'll be 6xy plus 3x squared y prime. Now we want to get the y primes by themselves. I see there's a y prime here, and there's a y prime here. So let's bring this over to the other side. How about that? Does that make sense? Yeah. So I'll do, and I'll bring the 6xy over to this side. So maybe I'll, I'll do that first. 
Let's do this first. We'll put the y prime first. So it'll be 3x squared y prime plus, because I'm adding this now over to the other side, x, y, y prime, all over the square root of 2 minus x, y squared equals. And now I'm taking this, subtracting that. So I'm going to have minus. And in the bottom here, I have the same square root, 2 minus x, y squared. Up top, I have a y squared minus 6 x, y. I have all my y primes over here. I can factor out the y prime. And so y prime times, and it's going to be 3x squared plus the square root of 2 minus xy squared, xy, equals this same thing here, 2 minus xy squared, y squared minus 6xy. Now to get y prime by itself, I just divide all this over to the other side. So let's do that over here. So I'm going to have y prime equals, and it's going to be kind of a mess. So let's write it out and see if it simplifies at all. So first I'm going to have this thing here. And let's see, we have a y squared up here, minus 6xy. Now all that is divided by 3x squared plus, and then I'm going to have an xy divided by the square root of 2 minus xy squared. Well, that is the solution here for y prime, uh, if I were to solve it. But uh, can we simplify it? How about if we multiply everything by 2 times the square root of 2 minus xy squared? That will get rid of these fractions within fractions here. So if I do that up top, this is just going to be minus y squared. If I multiply this term by 2 times the square root of 2 minus xy squared, this is going to become 12xy times the square root of 2 minus xy squared. And then down here, if I multiply this, that's going to be 6 now, x squared times the square root of 2 minus xy squared. And we're almost done. This thing now, remember I'm multiplying a 2 times the square root of 2 minus xy squared. So the square roots will cancel, but the 2 is going to stick around. So it's going to be plus 2xy. And there's probably some other simplifications maybe you could do, but I'm going to leave it like that. That's pretty much the answer right here. Remember. Uh, when you're solving complicated implicit differentiation problems, oftentimes it's okay to stop after you've taken the derivative. Um, if that's all you're interested is just getting the expression. But if you actually want to solve for y prime using implicit differentiation, uh, sometimes it can get a bit messy.